It is Holocaust Memorial Day, May the 3rd, 2024, at Camp Shalom, University of Queensland. Members of the Jewish and Christian communities have come here to support UQ students. As we stand here today, we reaffirm that no student should ever fear discrimination or violence because of their identity. Jewish students should not fear walking the corridors of their universities. They should not fear, period. Today, I stand against anti-Semitism. Now, I've asked myself the question often, what can I do as a lone Christian man to support Israel and the Jewish people? How can one individual make an impact? I don't have the skills and abilities many possess here, but one thing I possess, and it's something we all possess, and that is the ability to show love and kindness toward each other. And that's what I'm doing here today showing love, kindness, and support. And let me tell you, many evangelical Christians like me around the world, and also many of the silent majority, not all religious, but people who look through the lens of common decency, like my mother and her friends, for example, feel the same and express support towards you all. I had some words prepared, but now I see this beautiful crowd of people standing amongst the trees. And in my heart, I see us as the very tips, the edges of the new branches that have been growing off the tree of life that is Judaism, that is the Jewish people. And we all know not only the Holocaust, but many other horrors, including October 7th, were perpetrated against our people over thousands of years. Limbs have fallen off that tree, never again to be seen. But here we stand. We stand at the very edge, the very tip, the growing limb, the new limb forming. And we are spreading, and we are growing, and we are burgeoning out like the trees here that we stand around. What made you decide to start this Camp Shalom? So I'm an associate professor in this university. I've been here for 12 years and I wish to stay here until retirement and onwards. Uh, this is my home. This is the first time ever and hopefully the last time that I experience on campus a call for complete removal, boycott, dismissal and effectively erasing of the culture that I come from. I find this as harassment, um, as it hurts me and it hurts many students that stand here. And very quickly, uh, others and I have set up and said, well, we will be here uh, as long as needed until the university comes to its senses and at the first go removes encampments, and this one will also be disbanded. And second, that further moving forward, um, while free speech can be tolerated and should be tolerated, harassment uh, cannot. What are the um, discussions you've been having with some of the students who have been uh, coming to Camp Shalom? So, this camp being set up has sprung a form of a, a home, let me say, for students that align with Judaism, with Zionism, with Israel, but also students that uh, strongly oppose the Iranian regime. So students and community that uh, want the Iranian totalitarian regime to, to change and to return to some form of normality. So what we see is sort of a grassroots operation where students have just taken plenty of initiatives, have set up uh, tense signs um, and discuss their ideals and directions. Um, everybody has essentially agreed to go to the lowest common denominator, which is keep me safe. This May the 3rd event was preceded by a Shabbat event attended by Jewish, Christian and Persian supporters of democracy. Always be here for the community, because an attack on you is an attack on us. So, uh, please know that we're there with you. I have been very alarmed at the reports I've received from the university campus this week. 
and that is one of the reasons why I'm here and I will be writing to the Vice Chancellor after this evening and telling her that one of the reasons I came along tonight was because of the events on this campus this week. The peaceful assembly paraded in front of the Vice Chancellor's office. Um, on campus as a student here. I was previously studied at UQ and now I've come back to do uh, uh, some more study. And honestly, it's been difficult walking around for the last few months and seeing a lot of the hateful messaging and speech and protest behavior. And um, speaking to some other friends who are Jewish and Israeli, sort of we had a, a, a sense of uh, not having a safe space that we could um, provide support to each other and talk about the stress and the anxiety that we feel particularly um, in light of the conflict that's happening now with a lot of our family and friends involved. Um, and so I just happened to be walking past when this first was being set up and I saw Israeli flags being hung and I thought, oh, wow, like someone's decided to to make a stand and to make a space. And um, it was really beautiful. I mean, the, suddenly I found a lot of other students, a lot of other Israeli students here as well, who felt similarly and felt like they didn't have a space to connect with other Jewish students and didn't have a space to discuss you know some of the trauma and some of the history and just feel some of that support that you know i think that we as jewish people um you know we really have sort of a, a, an ingrained trauma and so seeing a lot of this hate speech on campus um in contrast with some of the most beautiful um people that i've met it's been really um quite a turnaround from from a few months ago where it felt like we were all alone sort of just wandering these halls afraid to to openly share that we're Jewish or that I'm Israeli. And so it's been a very empowering, um, very empowering week. And I'm really grateful for, for everyone coming here today to um, also express support and, and enjoy in that hug. The past couple of months, I have been constantly bombarded by signs uh, that say Intifada, which is direct call for the death of my people. I have heard people chanting this, I've heard people chanting other things that call for suffering of people. And that's very hurtful and uh, it's quite sad to see the way that hate like this has come onto campus. We have seen already a flag of the PFLP, which is a designated terrorist organization hanging up and that was treated as an isolated event. We have seen our encampment here, Camp Shalom, which aims to spread the message of Shalom, which means peace. We've seen our encampment run through by people trying to pull down flags. We've had people daily shouting slurs and swearing at us just for sitting here. And the response from the VC is all of these are isolated events. In my opinion, that's weak and pathetic and does not take the safety of Jewish students that study here properly. All of the hatred, all of the um, aggressions, it should not happen here in Queensland. It should not happen at the University of Queensland. And being able to have a safe spot for Jewish students um, in this state and in this campus is one of the most important things. So walking into school every day and seeing an encampment full of people who wanted nothing more than me and my people to be annihilated, it made me feel like I did not have the support of the university. Um, I do a lot of grade A research and so does everybody else on my team. And knowing that we don't have the support of the university is something that is very challenging to overcome. There have been days that I have not want to come because I just don't feel safe and I don't feel like the university has my best interest at heart. Um, by allowing this encampment of hatred and division to occur, it, it made me need to speak up. And, and that's why I decided to join Camp Shalom. That's why I have spent countless hours trying to make sure that this place is a safe space for Jewish people because I refuse to remain silent. It's 2024, I'm proud to be Jewish and I am proud to share that information with the world. And by allowing an encampment um, on the other side, it doesn't make me feel like I can truly be myself and uh, help the university produce the research that it so desperately wants to continue to reach throughout the world. 
Well, it's definitely been daunting coming into into uni every single day and being reminded of everything that's happening overseas and being reminded that my culture and my people is hated. Um, I'm lucky that there hasn't been anything specifically personal, but it's definitely still scary and a bit nerve wracking to walk around and see flyer upon flyer reminding me of hatred. And it's definitely, it increases my heart rate and it distracts me for a little bit. And I just want the university to understand what it's like to be a minority and what it's like to be surrounded by so much hate and just villainizing of my people. If I could tell the Vice Chancellor one thing, I would say to get rid of both camps entirely. I just want my university to be a safe space where I learn. Like, I come here purely to get my education. I don't need to be reminded of the rhetoric that's happening on the internet and everything like that in my university space. Past few weeks have been difficult. Uh, it's been hard to acclimatise the situation, uh, but I'm very grateful for the Jewish community and for Yoni for starting Camp Shalom and for putting this together, it's really made me feel um, feel at home here again and uh, not feel threatened in any way in my ideologies and who I am. Uh, so Camp Shalom has really brought together people and um, allowed us to all come to come together and, and be Jewish together and have a presence on campus. I think the university can do a lot more. Um, I think that they are... I think they're exercising uh, the right of free speech, and I understand that. Uh, but there is, but when uh, the UQ values of uh, respect, inclusivity, uh, of diversity uh, are being violated, then the university needs to step up and to make sure that those U UQ values are upheld by its students, which is an agreement uh, when you attend this campus. And people who fail to do that, um, well, they need to be addressed. The reason I've come here today is, is I've grown up all my life believing, you know, we were the, we were the Christians. We were the, the people that were standing up against anti-Semiticism and, and what happened in the Holocaust. Why did nobody say something? And it really concerned me. But, um, in May last year, I was in Israel and I had wept at the Holocaust Museum. Um, it was a, an overwhelming pain that I felt. And I thought, this is happening all over again and I am not going to be silent. And I suppose I've come here today to say to the Jewish people that not only do many, many people love you and we stand with you, you will never be alone. And we will not see this. We will not be silent about what has happened in Israel and what is happening in Israel. And we want to stand with you and just tell you that we love you. You know, we live in this wonderful liberal democracy where we should all have different views and everyone should feel like no matter what their views are, they can just go home at the end of the day in safety, put their head down on a pillow, wake up the next day. And that's what sort of we should have. Instead, we have, you know, people who call for violence, call for destruction, call for, you know, upending of things and, you know, and, and vilify people to make people feel like they are, I don't know, you know, essentially Nazis. Um, it's... It's not how a culture of a university should work. It should be a free flow of ideas done in a respectful, uh, democratic uh, manner in which, you know, you listen, you talk, you debate, you grab a, a drink afterwards. Well, my kids are students here, and when they come and tell me about what goes on here, um, I, I, I do feel frustrated. I feel um, angry. I feel that uh, this is not why we live in Australia, and this is not Australian values. Um, and I, I believe that uh, Australia should do more for the Jewish community, which is a minority in this country, and um, government should stand up for minorities uh, that can't really defend themselves as well need to show support to the students and it's a university you know a university needs to be a safe place for um right. for everybody what and would you like to see happen what would like, i like to see moving happen? forward I, I would like to see dialogue with the students um and i would like for the university to stop showing cowardice because they have done on on a few different uh issues 
Um, and, you know, they're afraid to go against the grain because, you know, there's all this propaganda going on, you know, in the media and everywhere else. And unfortunately, the universities have become the, the one, some of the biggest perpetrators. So, you know, dialogues, awareness, build awareness. I also noticed um, from the Soviet Union originally, I noticed there's a socialist uh, stand. You know, nice. and everywhere around the world, there's communist and socialist propaganda, along with terrorist propaganda that, that's being handed out. So we know whom we're dealing with, essentially. We would also like to everybody to know that we don't really want to be here. Um, we don't feel that this is the right way of doing things, that the university should actually dismantle. Uh, the encampments and uh, as soon as they say that encampments are not allowed anymore we're the first ones to pack up um, uh, like I said before we're here to uh, protect our students from our community and our uh, other staff members that are Jewish or ex-Israeli that, that work here and um, like I said, we, we don't really want to be here and we'll be the first ones to dismantle as soon as they say that encampments are, are not allowed anymore. Alan.